Uh, hello, this is Dean Zhou from Huazhong University of Science and Technology. Uh, it's a pleasure to share our new work, Knowledge Enhanced Multi Intent Transformer Network for Recommendation, uh, which was done when I was an intern in Tao Tian Group of Alibaba. Uh, my presentation will be divided into four groups, uh, four parts. Uh, first, we introduce our task, uh, Knowledge Enhanced Recommendation, uh, with two kinds of structure input. They are interaction data and knowledge graph. In interaction data contains historical user item interactions, such as uh, click or purchase behavior. Uh, and knowledge graph contains external facts and collections of the items. Uh, for example, uh, items relations or attributes. Then our goal is to output a function, uh, is to learn a function to output the possibility of a user would, uh, of a user adopt an observed item. Uh, then we consider the knowledge enhanced recommendation series in industry, uh, but we find one disappointing fact is that simply incorporating knowledge to supply item attributes would decrease the recommendation performance just like the sub uh, the red figure. Uh, by analyzing the purchasing cases in Taobao, we find that the user's multiply intents are not usually, uh, are usually ignored by existing knowledge enhanced recommendation models. And further, the intent irrelevant knowledge are not removed, which becomes the noise in our model. As shown in the left figure, users may purchase different items for different intents, such as passing time, or his or her long-term interest, or just a friend recommend a item or movie. Towards de designing an effective multi-intent modeling framework for knowledge enhanced recommendation, we first investigate uh, traditional multi-intent recommendation models. However, uh, just like the left figures shown, uh, we, however, we find, we find that they are not suitable for KGR scenarios, since they either consider user intents as a line combination of items or a line combination of knowledge relations. Uh, they or ignore that global had general signals or influence the intent defining and learning. Uh, let's just uh, look back to the left figure. Uh, the intent one, passing time, is actually uh, related with knowledge relation and entity. For example, uh, the movie, uh, user like it for its genre uh, and uh, its uh, name or its content. And uh, the and the intent K, uh, user like it may due to uh, his friend recommended and uh, due to his name or content. So we need to consider all kinds of heterogeneous information in our intent modeling. Meanwhile, we need to deploy the knowledge graphs, remove the intent really. Relevant, irrelevant analysis, and we hence propose to model the global intents with graph transformer and uh, contact, conduct knowledge deloying under user intents uh, with a uh, sampling strategy and uh, contrasting mechanisms. Uh, last, we introduce our models. It contains the, here is our model view. Uh, it generally con consists of two parts, uh, global intense modeling with graph transformer and uh, knowledge contrastive deloying and uh, user intents. Firstly, we in, in the global intense, uh, global intense modeling with graph transformer, we first initialize K global intent prototypes for users and items, which means the predictive objective of user item preference 
can be present as the following, as the for, as follows. Then we learn internal wire representations and update these internal prototypes through the following three tabs. We firstly inject knowledge information into atom representations. Then introduce a graph transformer among user atom interactions to integrate global signals into user and atom representations. And with the global signals included into their embeddings, we further reorganize the embeddings of each layer by considering intent prototypes as ways. After acquiring internal well user atom representations, we utilize two steps to deroying the intent irrelevant knowledges. We first perform a top case, top case sample strategy among long niche troubles uh, according to their importance for interns, uh, together with gamble noise for improving the robustness. Then inspired, then inspired by the recent success of contrastive learning in deloying without reliance on additional signals, we propose a local, local to global information contrast, contrastive learning, uh, which contrasts the representations learned from local and global information. In this way, a self-supervised loss is acquired uh, and uh, we combine it with previous su supervised laws, uh, train the model with a multi in a multitask manner. Then we, then we show our experimental results. Uh, we combine offline experiment on three public data sets uh, in two recommendation series, CTR prediction and top K recommendation. And uh, by comparing all, by comparing other methods, our proposed KGTN is clearly achieved the best results. We attribute such improvements to the following aspects. Firstly, by modeling user interns with global signals, KGTN is able to learn user item representations in a more fine fine grained and comprehensive manner. Second, the knowledge sampling strategy and and the user interns could remove less relevant knowledge information. Third, third the local global, local to global contractive learning improved the representation in a self-supervised manner. And we perform, we perform online A-B testing in our Alibaba recommendation platform uh, for the record process uh, during two weeks where group A is provided with results from DMR, uh, our old recall models, and group B is provided with results from KTN, as shown in table five. KTN improved item page view per user by 2.3%, Uliqua visitor list to order by 2.3%, 22% and Uliqua visit click through rate by 2.3% relatively. And uh, the ablation star, star results and the parameter analyze are as follows. Uh, demonstrate the effectiveness of the main conformance. And we conduct a Deloitte experiment here for checking the model robustness and the noise interactions. We continue adding a certain portion of the reversal examples, such as 5% negative user atom interactions, 10% uh, uh, or more into the training set. And the experiment, experimental results show the robustness of KGTN. Uh, lastly, we make a conclusion. We emphasize the importance of intent modeling with global information for KGR, uh, and we propose a low model, KGTN, uh, which models user interns from global signals and deloys atom representations. Uh, besides, we conduct offline and online tests. 
Oh, thanks for listening. Mm, thanks.